Hey guys, Peyton Snabek here again for another DVD and Blu-ray update for you guys. It's week. It's been about two weeks since my last one. Got a pretty decent amount of stuff here. Um, got 12 movies here, 8 Blu-rays, 4 DVDs. Actually, most most of the movies in here this time are actually ones that are keepers. Um, I think there's only two Blu-rays I'm going to sell. And only one DVD I'm going to sell. Well, one of them I'm going to get to... One Blu-ray I'm going to get to my mom. The other one I'm going to sell. And the one DVD I am going to sell. Alright, but... As usual, I'm going to talk about the Blu-rays first, and then the DVDs. So the first one here I got, um, this is one I was able, this is actually the final movie I was able to go see in theaters in 2021. Um, I haven't been to the movies lately, as you guys can tell, because not many, you know, it's, it's a slow, it's a slow year for movies. Um, but I know um, I am going to be seeing uh, the new Batman movie, which... Um, which normally I'm not really in the Batman, but for some reason after watching the trailer for the new one, I kind of want to see it. But um, but I think it, the movie starts picking up more, uh, like around June or something. But um, you know this is the movie, the Clifford the Big Red Dog movie, the live action movie here on uh, Blu-ray. You know, this was a show I used to watch back when I was little. Um, you know, I know it was on Netflix. I don't think it's on there anymore, but. You know, it was a show I have not seen in years, but, um, and I used to read the books as well, but if you haven't seen it, it was basically, if you haven't, well, the movie, it, um, was basically about, uh, this, this girl, um, Emily Elizabeth, uh, I think, what is it, like, her, her uncle is taking care of her, because her mom's on this, like, business trip, and, um, and as she's going to school, she comes across this little, uh, kind of like this, this little, like, animal like uh circus or something and she goes in there just for a sec before going to school and she comes across clifford the the, the red dog and you know basically she loves the dog so much and the dog loves her and some somehow one night the dog ends up coming to the house to her house and um you know and she loves her loves him so much that the very next day he's gigantic and it's like out of control and these uh this bad man's like after him and uh wanting wants him to take him to this like kind of like place for like money or something but for a kids movie i actually thought this one was neat um you know i, I actually thought it worked you know it's 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 interesting to me sometimes how like these kind of like kids movies um they turn them into live action movies so like uh i actually thought this worked um same thing with uh uh, that Dora movie that came out a few years ago. I honestly didn't know what I was going to think of it, but when I saw it in theaters, I was actually surprised how, how interesting it was. But, uh, but, yeah, that is Clifford the Big Red Dog here on Blu-ray. But the feature-wise, you just get deleted scenes, uh, behind the scenes, and that's just about it. All right, now these next two right here, one of them came out the Blu-ray last year. The other one just came out the Blu-ray, like, just about two weeks ago. Um... But I got the original Bad News Bears and the Bad News Bears remake, both here on Blu-ray. So, um, well, this is the one I was mainly going after, because I know this one This one was announced, like, months ago, and then it was canceled, and well, I think it was supposed to come out the same time the original one did, but, uh, ended up getting canceled. I'll, I'll talk about that one in just a sec, but, uh, I ended up getting the original one, uh, since I, because I never got to see the, I never got to see it, I just saw the remake. And it's, it's the same, it's kind of like the same thing as the remake. Uh, this one has, uh, what's his name? Uh, Walter Mario or something. <laughs> but, um, but if you haven't seen this movie, it's, it was basically him, um, playing this, like, drunk, and he's, like, uh, he's this coach, uh, a drunk coach who, like, starts this baseball game, and he's working for the, for the Bears, and, um, the, the baseball players, they can't play, basically, and... That's basically what it is. Um, but really fun movie right here. Um, the original one. But I actually dug the remake a little bit better, though. But uh, feature-wise on here, by the way, we get... Like a Kevin Smith doing some kind of like documentary or something. And then Jackie Earl Haley thing or something. I think it's like the same features as the uh, DVD. But I know the fact that the remake here, finally available on Blu-ray, it's the same features as the, other, as the DVD one. But it, this is kind of like the same thing. This one was the one with Billy Bob Thornton. I don't know. For some reason, I kind of dug the remake a little bit better. I 
I just thought that Billy Bob Thornton was, like, amazing. I think he's, like, funny as hell in this and Bad Santa. Um, but it, it's basically the same thing. Uh, but I, I really... I really dig these movies. Okay, so the next one here I got, this is the other uh, movie that was released from uh, Paramount. And it's so cool to see them, you know, um, put Nickelodeon movies to Blu-ray right now, because now we got, uh, we got this, we got uh, Hey Arnold, I think that just, just came out the Blu-ray, but it was on a Burn on Demand one. Good, Good Burger came out last year. Uh, Rugrats is about to get a Blu-ray release along with uh, Jimmy Neutron. Um, but uh, that is Barnyard he finally here on Blu-ray. And I have to say, this looks pretty damn good on Blu-ray. Um, you know, it's the same features as you got on the other DVD. But it, uh, this is one I remember seeing in theaters uh, and just really, really loving this one. Um, but if you haven't seen, you know, I, a TV show came out, of course, uh, called Back at the Barnyard, which I was able to review to you guys. But I know those those DVDs um, that were from, they were from the Burn on Demand are now out of print. Um, but um, I think you could also watch it on I think it's it's on uh, Nick, uh, Paramount Plus. Uh, um, but if you haven't seen this movie, it's basically you know it's about these talking barn animals and uh, you know a lot of great of great cast members. Like I think the main character is um, you know is voiced by. Uh, Kevin James, you know, Courtney Cox does a voice, Sam Elliott, Danny Glover, Wanda Sykes, David Koshner, um, a lot of people d does voices on here, um, but it's them basically, um, having to deal with, like, these, um, these coyotes, and the one coyote, um, ends up, uh, killing Otis, is, uh, which, who was this cow right there, ended up kill killing his father, and it, it's him trying to get the get back at the coyotes, basically. Um, but really fun movie. I I've always dug it. You know, still holds up. Uh, like I said, the same features as as the DVD did. But uh, really dug this one. The next one here I got now. Last year I bought I bought a copy. I I just now watched it. You know, but um, I had to buy a new one because uh, it was messing up. So I bought a new one. And I was able to finish the movie. I, I really enjoy this movie. Joe Pesci is so freaking hilarious in this movie. Uh, this is a movie from Mill Creek Entertainment. I think this one went out of print, um, but it goes up to like twenty dollars. Up oh, notification, sorry. But it's a, it's a movie here called Gone Fishing, here on Blu-ray. Um, and um, this movie is basically you know Joe Pesci and and Danny Glover's characters. They're buddies, they're homies in this movie, and they're going on this like weekend trip and to go fishing. But uh, their fishing trip ends up going wrong because their car ends up getting stolen by a murderer, and they end up getting it back. And they find the knife, and you, you basically you find out right away that the guy that stole is actually a murderer, and the murderer is basically after them um, because it got their car back. Um, that's technically what it is, but. Great movie right here. I, I enjoy this one. Um, definitely a must-watch right there. All right, the next one here I got. This is one. Now, for some reason, I don't, out of all the stuff I watched, I don't know why. I never actually watched the sequels to these movies. And I know, like, uh, I know, uh, and I've never seen Cobra Kai. I had, like, the season one and two set I got on Black Friday, so... I think I'm going to watch it when I get done with these sequels. I know there's no connection to to them, because I know it's supposed to be a direct sequel to the first Karate Kid only, but I uh, I got Karate Kid Part 2 here on Blu-ray. And, um, and like I said, it's funny. Like I never actually watched the sequels to these. I've only ever watched the first one. Uh, but this one is kind of like a continuation. It, it basically starts right after the events of the first movie. Um, you know, Daniel Russo won the tournament, and it's basically uh, Mr. Miyagi getting a call uh, from his home country that he has been been to in over, like, 45 years, and it's like, I think it's, it's like his ex-wife or something? Or some someone that he left behind or something. I can't remember, but uh, um, gets a call saying that she's sick and she's not doing well. So it's him and Daniel's character going all the way to this country to 
say their goodbyes and everything. And of course, you know, karate stuff happens in, in this town. Uh, Daniel Russo's character um, falls in love with this girl that's there. Um, now, I actually thought this was a really fun sequel. I, I do have season or uh, parts three and four, um, so I'll probably watch those sometime this week. So, uh, but yeah, but I really enjoyed this one. All right, now these last two Blu-rays here, these are ones I'm I'm gonna take out of my collection, but um, this one I'm gonna give to my mom. This one is the double pack here on Miss Congeniality Parts One and Two. Um, I've only so I only watched the first one. I didn't watch the second one because um, I heard that was pretty bad. So, uh, you know, if you have it's these are decent movies, but they they weren't my favorite ones. You know, um, but of course, you know, both of them star Sandra Bullock. It was. It's her, like, um, going undercover, dressing up as, like, this, uh, um, dressing up in a, in, a, in a beauty pageant, um, and that's basically what it is. And the last one, I couldn't get into this one, guys, I'm sorry. Um, everyone says it's a great horror movie. I, I thought it was okay. It, I, I couldn't get into it, but, uh, I got the first Insidious movie here on Blu-ray, that I was able to find at a pawn, or not a pawn shop, a flea market last year. But, uh, yeah. Um, you horror fans know what it is if you've seen it. Okay, now on to the DVDs. Um, right after I get a sip of water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start bringing water whenever I do these updates every two weeks. So, um, uh, it's, a uh, talking exercise, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, I have the first DVD I have. This is one I reviewed a couple years ago, and I actually like it a lot better than how I used to. So I am, this is a, a, definitely a keeper. Um, but I got Scooby-Doo, Abracadabra Do original movie here on DVD. Um, this is basically, this one's basically about, um, it's, uh, Velma and, um, goes and visits her sister, because, like, there's, like, I think, like, she lives, like, in this kind of, like, magic school, and a lot of stuff is going around, happening. Like, there was, like, this rumor about this, like, uh, some sort of, like, creature in the woods or something. And, uh, and, and, you know, there's, like, this this gigantic bird a after people and stuff. You know, it was real, really, really fun. I always kind of like these Scooby-Doo movies. Uh, you know, I like finding, this is one I found out of Dollar Tree a couple years ago, but this one's actually pretty fun. All right, the next one here, I know this is on Blu-ray, but uh, my mom had a lot of DVDs she wanted to sell, and I actually wanted to keep this one. I've already seen it, but it was I seen it years ago, but um, but I do remember digging this movie, um, and I'll get a Blu-ray of it in the future. But it's uh, you know the Messengers here on DVD. Um, this one was the one with Kristen Stewart. Um, like I said, I can't really remember much about this one, but uh, I do remember. Like I said, I do remember liking it though. Um, I know that they also did, like, a... What was in the... It was actually a, a prequel. I know they did. Uh, which I think the prequel was, like, about, like, a, a killer scarecrow or something. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I, I, I remember liking this one. Alright, the next one here I got, uh... I got, um... Gullah Gullah Island, uh, Season 2, here on DVD. Um, Burn On Demand. And this was a show that, um, I remember watching back when I was... It was it was a show I remember watching back when it was on Nickelodeon. It's not it doesn't come on anymore, but um, I always remember the show and just remember a, about like a weird looking like frog or something. Um, I remember when it when rerun rerun still came on um, back in two thousand nine. I always wanted to wake up because it back when it was still coming on like re reruns would come on like at four o'clock in the morning and I would always want to wake up that early just to watch the show, but, um, there was some memorable songs on here, like, there was a song I could not get out of my head, I don't know why, but the, the song was like, this is a nest for a rabbit, this is a high for a bee, um, it was something like that, but, uh, this is a hole for a bunny, and this is a house for me, <laughs> I don't know, I could not get, get out, get that song out of my head, but, uh, you know, it's 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 a great show. Um, you know, memorable stuff right here. But like I said, this um, a, a lot of these Nickelodeon ones have gone out of print. Um, so um, 
I was able to get this at the time when I found out that um, they were going out of print. When I heard that uh, Amazon was not doing the uh, Nickelodeon Burn On Demand releases anymore, and uh, immediately hit up on them, because they were ones I've been wanting in my collection for quite some time, and I knew, like, when I heard that that was happening, I knew that was going to be probably my, my, my last chance to get them, and I did. Uh, yeah. All right, the last one here I got. This is one I am going to sell. Not unless my mom wants it, because I know she likes the, the movie Monster. But it's uh, Alain, Life and Death of a Serial Killer here on DVD. This is basically like uh, footage and interviews about uh, Allie Warnos and uh, about all the stuff she confessed to. And um, that, that it's like a, it's sort of like a documentary about her, and, you know, her last moments before her death, before she got the death penalty. Um no, it was, it was pretty interesting, but it wasn't, like, my favorite movie, though. I know that there... I just found out there was an Ali Warnos movie I didn't know about. Um, and it's very cool to see, like, these Nickelodeon and Disney stars doing these kind of, like, roles for, like, famous people. Like, uh, from what I heard, Peyton Liss, you know, from Jesse, Diary of Wimpy Kid, and she's also in Cobra Kai plays uh, Ali Warnos in this movie, which I would... I, I want to see now because she's in that movie, but, um... And I, and I also really want to go see that Elvis movie that's coming out because uh, Austin Butler, who was in, who was in iCarly for an episode, and he was in a couple episodes. He was like in the last season of uh, Zoe 101. Uh, he's like he's like playing Elvis, and the girl who's playing up uh, Priscilla Presley, which who I got to talk to a couple months ago, uh, it's played by Olivia D. Jones, who I had a crush on ever since watching uh, The Visit. She was also in a uh, Better Watch Out. Um, you know, I I think I think it's gonna be good. I can't wait to see that one though. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.